Well, I was sitting up here and I decided I should probably do a practice draw and check out some of my shoot lines I got here. After I've been sitting here for a while and seeing these sm two small bucks chasing a doe around, I figured I'd better get ready. And I drew back and I went to put back down and the string rolled off my cams. The arrow went about three feet and fell straight down. Nothing looks broke. It looks like maybe I had a little torque on it as I was letting down and just twisted weird and rolled off the cams, but I think my hunt's ruined. November 11th, or no, what is today? Let me check. November 12th, here in, in Indiana, first time hunting Indiana. It's their gun season opener here this Saturday morning, so me and Josh scouted in here yesterday. Alex got in late last night. The three of us are over here hunting down on this steep hillside down where we found a little field with a pond. A lot of, a lot of deer sign in here so we're gonna sit tight. Me and Josh got the muzzle loaders. Alex has got the shotgun so we're gonna sit tight and hopefully one of us get it but if we do it's gonna be a heck of a job getting them out of here because it's all steep steep terrain so we'll probably end up call them in, get them tagged, and then quarter them and pack them out. So let's see what happens. sitting about 300 yards over this hill right here and he just shot a real nice nine point buck so hopefully they're up and moving now I just saw a little button buck come through but man the weather changed quite a bit went from dry crunchy leaves to a couple inches of snow here
Buck down, baby. Buck down. Buck down. <laughs> Good job, man. I think it's a different one. This one looks like a 10 point. I mean, not a monster 10 point, but. Dude. Holy cow. All right. Going back in this morning here in Indiana. I'm gonna recover my buck this morning. Found him last night, but it's getting a little late and it's a real tricky climb up and out of all these steep hills and ravines. So I figure I'd just leave them overnight, come back this morning and I got my, my elk hunting backpack and the game bags and I filled out the tag and registered him online so he's all legal so all I gotta do now is quarter him out and pack him out of here. So it's my first Indiana buck. First time ever coming out here to Indiana. It's kind of a crazy story. Josh called me on on Thursday about midday and said hey you want to go to Indiana? I said when? He said we'll leave at 1 in the morning. I said ah I better check make sure I don't have anything going on this weekend. And Nothing going on, so we loaded up in the truck and headed out of New York at 1 a.m. Got here into Indiana about 8 o'clock in the morning. Drove around, had breakfast, walked through some state land, found some decent sign, went back to, got a hotel, and then uh, Alex called and said he was on his way out to meet us. So yesterday morning, Alex got at the hotel about 10 o'clock at night on Friday. We slept till 3.30, came out bright and early. We set Alex up in a spot where we thought was pretty good and me and Josh went to two of the spots we had found. Sure enough, about nine o'clock, Alex shot and dropped a real nice, real nice nine point. So we dragged him out of the woods, drove around a little bit. I. As we were driving, I noticed that the the public land butted up to the road here, just in one little sliver. And I said, "Drop me off here. I'm going to climb that that steep hill where probably nobody else will, and I'll I'll go down over the other side and try to find a buck." And it sure did work out good, because I got I got back here, found a tree, climbed up in it where I could see two different ravines from the ridge I was on. Saw a buck and a doe. Just could never get a shot at the buck. He was just behind too much stuff and uh, He walked off and I grunted at him a bunch trying to get him to turn around nothing And then I looked down and this guy was coming right to the tree looking for that grunt So you can tell he was he was a fighter. He's got busted off Points here on both sides, but what a cool buck first non-typical I suppose but I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven point would be twelve, thirteen if you didn't break those two off, but just the amount of mass. I'll I'll get the camera closer so you can see, but this guy this guy's a cool buck. Happy to get him, but worked out perfect. Josh, that's a stud. That's a stud. He's coming. He's coming right to us. Where'd the other one go? You're 100. 
But welcome to Deer Hunter Fan in Indiana. <laughs> Dude, we have had one heck of a hunt, man. This morning has just been outstanding. It's like 24 degrees here. Mike and Alex got bucks on the ground. We sat at this ridge over here yesterday and had a beautiful nine point up in here. And he just. We needed like 10 more steps and a doe took them away. We've had deer all over in here this morning. That was a hard shot. Yeah. I don't know. Alex thinks I hit him. I'm, I'm thinking I did not. Wait a few minutes and go check it out. So quick. We've been in here for five minutes? If that. We just got set up. It's not good. He's walking. He's only gone about 200 yards. Go to the top of that ridge. He ran pretty good and then stopped. So it's not a liver shot. Or maybe it could be. Well, he was walking when you shot. Just you don't you only get you only get like split second here and then they're, they're gone. Yeah. I thought I seen him buck. 
They're not buck, but you know what I mean. Kick. Me too. Me too. Well, let's calm down here. Shut this camera off. Let's take a look at it and we'll get back to these guys yeah. here. Stay tuned. Steve. Oh, you got the camera. Yeah. He was going the right way, I think. Yeah. He was going the right way. Yeah, he was, he was going the right way. That was my bad. I okay. just... Just headed right back down towards the road. Huh? Yep. All right, guys. So, uh, December first. I can't believe it. He, he's here. Um, it's almost as exciting as when you first find him after you shoot him. But uh, we didn't get quite that lucky in Indiana. Um, we had, you know, some other private lands, and we weren't able to get onto and. The first private land owner that led us on to, to look for this deer ended up, uh, they ended up finding him on his land not far from where we stopped tracking. So, you know, that's just how it goes. You know, I'm super happy, really bummed I couldn't get the meat. Uh, you know, like I said, shot this buck uh, November 13th at 11.40 a.m. Um, I missed this buck. 11 11 13 at about 7 30 a.m which is crazy so he, he uh he ended up making a huge loop and coming back and you know it's just we got great footage of it uh thanks alex i mean it's just awesome footage what a good buck um 10 point has a few broken tines uh, i usually don't but i'm gonna have the taxidermy fix them just because uh they're both still an inch but I don't have any 10 points on the wall, so I am stoked. Uh, just a great first Indiana buck. All three of us tagged out, if you ask me, and I couldn't be happier. So enjoy the footage, and uh, can't wait to go back next year. And I can't wait for you guys to actually hear the full crazy story of what happened in New York on opening day of rifle season. Thanks. Well, I never really got to talk much about my Indiana hunt, but it was a heck of a time. We got uh, in on a lot of really good bucks. And for people who rule that state out, I'll tell you what, they are absolutely wrong. And we didn't see a lot of deer, but as one of Josh's friends said, we saw the right deer. So I didn't get my buck on cam just happened too quick and I had to decide whether or not I wanted to put this deer down or risk getting it on camera and it was snowing so crazy that I almost didn't get the shot off even when getting the camera so really stoked that I was able to get that buck down I put a good shot on him um, double lung and I ain't got right on him which I usually don't do but I did because it was snowing so hard and I don't know the area very well and I ended up getting on him put a finishing shot on him. So Josh, Mike and I got that out and ran into a couple of good guys from our state, swapped numbers and some stories. It was just a really good experience and I'm definitely putting that on my calendar next year. So thanks for tuning in guys. I'm, I'm glad you got to um, you know, get some footage here of Mike and the Deer Hunter fan guys got it done this weekend and with opening season coming up here on Saturday it should be a pretty exciting couple weeks so uh, thanks for watching and um, yeah have a good day guys
got them all packed up. Quite the load. Now we just gotta get them out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 